Shavuot Tov, BPY family. I hope you all had a wonderful Shabbat, a restful weekend. You were able to get some fresh air, even with the not such beautiful weather outdoors. Something that we're going to be trying this week is spreading kindness with social distancing. Something that I think a lot of us have been feeling is that when we're in our own homes, staying away from the people around us, we tend to feel pretty alone and disconnected we're not really a part of what's going on with the people in our world, whether it's our neighbors, whether it's the people delivering our packages, whether it's the individuals who are helping all the sick people, those driving the ambulances, the doctors and nurses. And something that we would like to try as a community, as a BPY family this week, is to really try to do kindness both within our home, but also without our home. When we do kindness for other people, it helps us feel much more connected to them, even if we're not seeing them face to face, but knowing that we're doing something that can be helpful to them helps us feel more connected. So we're going to be sending out the link for this, how to spread kindness while social distancing. It's a whole list or chart of different kinds of kindnesses that you can do from within your house. And some of the kindnesses are to be done to people in your house. So it might be writing a list of five things I love about you. Now you could write this list for your grandparents or a cousin or even a friend and send it to them, but you could also write it for someone in your house. Some of the other ideas is do someone else's chore for them. If you all have chores and you say, you know what, I'm gonna be really kind to my sister today and I'm gonna help her out with her chore. That might be really nice. How about playing a game with your brother or sister or doing something helpful so that your parents have a little bit less to be thinking about. So there are things that we can do inside our house. And then ideas for what we can do outside our house might be to write a chalk message on the sidewalk outside your house or on your driveway. It might be put out a basket of treats for delivery people and you can leave them a very nice note thanking them for delivering the packages so that you could stay home and be safe and still have all the things that you need. It might be that you color a thank you card like this that says thank you to the doctors and nurses and send a picture of it to a doctor that you might know or a nurse that you might know so that doctors and nurses know that even when they're working really hard that there's so many people out there that really appreciate what they're doing. And in addition to sending pictures of all the different kindnesses that you're doing, at Kabbalat Shabbat next Friday, we're going to ask everyone to hold up the different things that you've done. So if you've done any of the kindness ideas on this chart, we want you to either make a check or an X in the box to let us know so that when you hate hold up this chart and we see lots of marks, that's going to tell us that you've been really busy doing kindness this week. And if you hung up a sign like this for the delivery drivers, we want you to hold it up to let us know this is something that I did. And if you chose to write five things I love about you, you're going to hold that up so that we know that that's a kindness that you chose. And that way, as a family, when we're all together at Kabbalat Shabbat, we will be able to see all the different kindnesses that the BPY family have been doing over the course of the week and we'll be able to celebrate all together. And with that, that hopefully should be a zuchot for a lot of good health and refuash leva this week. And have a wonderful week. And I look forward to seeing you over the course of the week and celebrating all the kindnesses at Kabbalat Shabbat on Friday. Enjoy!